IVF is not just about how many follicles you have. It's about how many embryos you get at the end of the stimulation cycle. But a key part of that, which I never thought about when I was doing my nine egg retrievals, was that if the follicles grow evenly, you should have more embryos at the end. What was happening with me is I would have 15 follicles, but then throughout my stimulation cycle, they would all start to really become uneven. And I didn't realize that was such a bad thing, of course, until I saw the embryo count. And I was like, why are there two embryos out of 15 follicles? And the answer was, of course, well, only a couple of them were mature enough to follow to, to fertilize. Only a couple of them were the ideal size. All right, so I'm gonna help you get more of your follicles to that ideal size. I'm Tasha Blasi. I am the IVF and fertility consultant for those who refuse to do the cookie cutter, trial and error approach to IVF like I did for nine egg retrievals and 10 transfers. All right, let's get started. So the first thing that we want to look for is how the follicles look after the priming protocol. This might be a couple weeks before you start stimulation drugs, or this may be you didn't do any priming protocols. Typical priming protocols are estrogen in the, um, in the luteal phase, birth control in the follicular phase, and maybe a progesterone birth control in the luteal phase. How are the follicles looking before you st start stimulation drugs? If they're already uneven, maybe you have on, on, on cycle day one, when they're typically doing the ultrasound before you start stimulation drugs, are there a bunch already 10 millimeters or over? That is not a great sign. And this is where you would talk to your doctor about changing the priming protocol. All right, but let's say that all the follicles start off really nice and evenly, but then it was throughout the stimulation drugs that they became really uneven. Okay, well, when did they become uneven? Well, right away. Okay, that's probably stimulation, the, the stimulation drugs that they, that your doctor is choosing within a certain time frame. Is the dosing too high? Did you start the right medications at the right time? Adjusting things like the actual medication that you took, the timing of when each of those medications started, and the dosing of those medications throughout the stimulation drug cycle will all help determine how even your follicles are. So take your monitoring report, that's something you can ask your doctor for, and check and see exactly when did these follicles start to really become uneven. And going to your doctor and showing, hey, after six days of stims, this is really where my follicles started to be uneven. Or, hey, we, we increased the dose towards the end of the stimulation cycle, and my follicles really got uneven. You will better be able to pinpoint where you need to have discussions with your doctor. Oh, after stim day six, I think we should be talking about what we can do to help even up the follicles there. All right, I hope that makes sense. And just to give you an idea, when I talk about the ideal follicle range and, and it also needs to be within an ideal amount of days um, of stimulation drugs, I'm talking about for most people, because it depends on, on factors, but for most people, we want the follicles between 16 and 19 millimeters, okay, in that range. Um, and it took 11 days plus or minus a day on stimulation drugs to get there, all right? So if you're seeing a bunch of big follicles and a bunch of small follicles and you, you get those bunch of big follicles in, let's say, nine days of stim drugs, again, you have more conversations to start with your doctor. So really quickly, I'm going to show you some pictures of before and after. Here is a before picture of my client's follicles when, you know, in, in the original kind of protocol, um, the doctor wasn't willing to make changes and that's okay. We want a confident doctor. We want a confident doctor that is very sure of their protocol. Well, as you could see on the day of her trigger shot, 
those follicles were all over the place. All right, well, she didn't get any normal embryos from that round. So the doctor was more willing to take some of our suggestions for the next round. And as you can see, we got much better results and it resulted in what we wanted, normal embryos. Oh, are these beautiful and even? Well, she decided to bank embryos. Let's get a get a get us more of these more of these embryos on ice. And again, we got another successful round. Yay! With all of these normal embryos on ice, she went into her transfer quite confidently, and I am happy to say that she is currently pregnant. I hope that this encourages you to have better comp first know what to look for, and then have better conversations with your doctor. And let me tell you, if you are sick of doing this on your own, I get it. DM me. We do private consulting services. We do group consulting services. All of them include, you can ask me anything, okay? No matter if you're doing the group consulting rate or the private consulting rate. So DM me and say, I'd like to learn a little bit more about your consulting services because I'm very certain we have one in your price range. And again, you get to literally ask me any question. Plus, of course, I am going to give you so much content on how to very successfully have better education about your IVF and have better, therefore, better conversations with your doctor.